Can Please. you watch this order? Remember that the Department of Justice or the Secretary of Justice is bound, uh, still bound at this point by the TRO that was issued by the Supreme Court dun sa GMA case. Look out yun lang ang pwede ko. I'm going to issue that now. All of them. Well, yung freeze order po, I may initial na yung Court of Appeals against uh, Napoles, the Napoles uh, companies, and uh, Napoles NGOs and officials. So pinagpapaaralan ko po ito kung sa freeze order at this point, pwede, na na, pwede rin kami humingi as against the lawmakers. Ma pero na namonitor niya na kung yung iba nandito pa? O yung iba naka nakalabas na ng bansa? Ang na-monitor lang, ang nabalitaan ko lang, is yung pag-alis ni Attorney Jessica Lucila Reyes last August 31 for Macau. But, and uh, per the BI records, she has not returned yet. Her return ticket is supposed to be September 3, but there is no record of her actual return. Yun po ang late, yun po ang na-monitor ko. Meron, meron din pong nagsabi sa akin na meron pa daw pong isa na mukhang nakaalis na, but since I have not validated it yet, hindi ko na muna sasabihin. Well, that is within the prerogatives of each house of Congress. That depends on their rules. That would depend on their internal rules. Kung pwede na sila. Na, you know, for, for the, the disciplinary or the administrative aspect. Independent body po yan. It's a co-equal branch of government. Ito po, this is the criminal fact-finding investigation. Kaya criminal aspect lang po ang tiningnan ng NBI. Yes, of course. The second batch would be new names. I will leave it to the office of the ombudsman kung ano ang uh, proseso nila dito. Na, I think I, I heard, I, 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 uh, I read in the papers that the Honorable Ombudsman has created actually a big team already, a team of reviewers, a team of, uh, of, of uh, special prosecutors who will conduct the preliminary investigation if and when lalarga ito for preliminary investigation, and a team of uh, maybe trial prosecutors. So nag-prepare na po sa tingin ko po at na, na, nabasa ko sa... sa sa papers na nag-prepare na ang, ang ombudsman. That is on top of the IAGC work, ha? Na mas malawak. I-announce ko na lang po yun uli kapag uh, nandyan na. Ano? Depende po. Depende sa mga amounts. Uh, magtatanong siguro kayo, bakit itong mga ito Diba? Ano yung standards na inano namin? Bakit itong mga pangalan na ito ang lumabas ngayon as uh, part of the first batch? Dahil sila po ay mga pinangalanan ng aming mga whistleblowers at may personal knowledge ang whistleblowers tungkol sa transactions nila with JLN at sila rin po yung mga una naming nabuo yung mga documentary trail na katakot-takot ng dami-dami na buo ho yun para sa kanila. Uh, as a matter of fact, mas gusto ko sana mas, mas, mas madagdagan ng konte ito for the first batch. But may mga gaps-gaps pa ho yung iba in terms of the documentary evidence. Kaysa naman madidelay yung first batch dahil hindi pa na kumpleto yung gusto ko rin sanang ipasama dahil kasama rin sila sa personal knowledge ng, uh, ng uh, mga whistleblowers. But since hindi pa na kumpleto yung mga 
dokumento kaya pinahold ko na muna po isasama na lang sila sa second batch and perhaps attorney Baligod can further explain yung ibig yung sinasabi ko na ano yung naging standard particularly yung yung uh, yung uh, personal knowledge as levy uh, yung uh, naging pamantayan po namin ay uh, una inuna na namin yung dati ng mga nababangkit sa diario no uh, bago pa lamang lumabas yung mga whistleblowers meron na kasing lumalabas sa diario about uh, certain uh, legislation